Godfrey Mutabazi, Executive Director of the Uganda Communications Commission. Welcome to Geneva. Welcome to WSIS Plus 10 High Level event. Thank you. uh, you've been involved in the high level talks. Have they been productive? Have they been useful? <laughs> yes, they have been very useful uh, in the sense that uh, we get uh, lots of uh, different ideas coming up, uh, the progress from different countries, uh, challenges, so on and so forth. So it's been really uh, very useful. Now, today is the conclusion of the talks, and the conclusion is expected to be the endorsement by application of two key documents, as you know, the Statement on Implementation of Outcomes and the WESIS uh, Beyond 2015 vision. Do you think these documents are important? They are, they are very much important. Uh, you know, uh, inevitably, uh, we are seeing a lot of uh, change. All countries are moving towards the same direction. Uh, digital revolution has taken over. Uh, uh, spread of information on different platforms has really uh, moved tremendously. So uh, it's very important that these documents are endorsed and uh, we move forward. And what difference do you think they'll make? Well, there are some countries, especially in Africa, that uh, are slow. They, they, they are not moving at uh, required pace. Uh, I think this is a wake-up call that uh, really we must move on. We must wake up and start moving faster in uh, regulation, implementation, and uh, other areas that require uh, the uh, development of information in the developing countries. In Uganda, what are your priorities? There are, you, you know the action lines uh, from the outcome documents. Is it uh, infrastructure, is it capacity, is it, or a combination of all? It's a combination of all. We have uh, infrastructure uh, challenges. Uh, of course, we have just uh, um, established a national backbone uh, and it connects most of the border posts. For example, we connect with Kenya, with Rwanda, and uh, soon with Tanzania, and we have uh, Sudan and we have the Congo to go. Uh, it's very, very important. The infrastructure itself needs to be uh, stabilized. It's not very stable. It's very expensive. Uh, we're a landlocked country. We, we need the national backbone. Uh, traditionally, I've always depended on uh, satellite, but satellite is so expensive. Uh, so we are really trying to develop the uh, national backbone. Now, at this point, as we speak, there's what we call Northern Corridor in East Africa, Kenya, Uganda uh, and Rwanda and southern Sudan are coming up with an infrastructure so that we can ease the flow of information, also bring the cost down. So there are a lot of things we are doing. And of course, we have also got challenges in the uh, uh, content, uh, which is not available. It's very expensive. The same applies to uh, terminal uh, uh, equipment. Uh, and the pieces are very expensive. Uh, Smartphones are very expensive. Uh, mindset, just going to rural areas and start spreading uh, all this uh, technology is not easy. So those are the challenges we're facing. Well, you mentioned uh, surrounding countries. Uh, does taking part in the WISIS process help you with uh, that kind of uh, collaboration, networking? Yes, yes. We, we have uh, very able and uh, dynamic countries. We have Rwanda, we have Kenya and Tanzania. We are very, very... Uh, uh, upward moving. Uh, if you look at uh, uh, the regulatory organization of those countries, they have formed an organization. It's very dynamic. We are working together in every area. Uh, we're trying to develop, as I said, infrastructure uh, together and to see how we can move. Also, the policies, we're trying to harmonize the policies to see how we can work together and uh, make this uh, industry much more. Uh, uh, you know, developmental or dynamic, as you would say. So, yes, we, we, we have all these three countries, four countries together moving towards that goal. Okay, well, thank you very much for being with us today. It's lovely to talk to you. Thank you so much. Nice talking to you. Thank you.